MTN News. This is Community Connection. Hey everyone and thanks for joining us on today's Community Connection. I'm joined with Kim with uh, United Way of Cascade County here to talk about Stuff the Bus. That's coming up uh, obviously with school. I can't even believe that school is about ready to start. Yeah, it's already, um, you know, kicking into gear. Right. Um, I know we're halfway through the summer, but right now is when um, we're encouraging people to gather school supplies mm -hmm. and start business um, school supply drives for our annual Stuff the Bus event, which this year is August 8th. Right. So tell people a little bit about what the Stuff the Bus event is all about. I mean, you're obviously stuffing the bus, but what yeah. are kind of some of the key things that people should be thinking about with this? Yeah. So, well, every year, um, we, for the last 10 years, we've really um, been able to grow this event. And what's wonderful about it is that there's one place um, where people can take school supplies mm -hmm. and then United Way distributes it to all the kids that need it. Nice. Um, so we distribute it um, to Great Falls Public Schools, um, but also to the Great Falls Rescue Mission. They have their big backpack drive and we really help um, support that. But nonprofits like Boys and Girls Club, Big Brothers, right. Big Sisters, Great Falls Children's Receiving Home, and even kids that are in foster care. Mm -hmm. So what we've decided is to kind of simplify and uh, simplify the process for people who just want to help right. um, and want to want to help children succeed. And they can do that by just collecting supplies and bringing them to um, one of three buses that we'll have at Target and both WalMarts on um, August eighth. Right on. And uh, we were kind of talking about last year, you guys were able to get 15,000 yeah. items. So yeah. to kind of see this thing grow over the years, talk about, you know, how it started and how it's grown and then what some of those next steps are to keep this thing growing. Yeah, absolutely. So when we first started this, it was really just a few businesses doing supply drives, um, businesses that United Way works with. Mm -hmm. And now we've grown it to three buses and 15,000 wow. items. And each year we've been able to, to grow the number of items um, and that's really important because um, last year we did a survey of teachers and, and the average teacher in our district um, will spend three hundred dollars of their own money right. on school supplies um, and really that that ranges we had a few teachers sure. that did as much as a thousand dollars in school supplies that's impressive so I mean just one uh, just another way for the community to come out and be able to help yeah. kids you know in school or even teachers for that matter and that's pretty impressive I'm mean, $300 and like you said that's just kind of the median amount yeah you know, that exactly. can go either way um, also talked a little bit about um, things have really evolved when it comes yeah. to school supplies. I mean, we were just talking before the interview here, uh, earbuds, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, this is a, an opportunity for folks to, uh, you know, if they want to help out, look at a different way of helping out because it's not necessarily just a box of crayons that you need anymore. Right, yeah. The things that we get the most of are things like crayons and notebooks, right. which of course every kid needs. Um, but today's kids also <laughs> need dry erase markers, earbuds, highlighters, things right. like that. that you didn't need when I was right, a kid. Right, exactly. But I think that's part of the evolution of education. Right now, right. kids are, um, a big part of their education is individualized learning plans with computers. Mm -hmm. And so for those things, you need earbuds. Um, so, you know, the, the types of supplies that have evolved really even in just the last 10 years. Right. Um, but, but now, um, today's kids need these things in order to succeed. Right on. Well, thank you, Kim, for coming in yeah. so much. And uh, as always, still uh, availability for some volunteers for Absolutely. the event. So you can reach out and check that out as well. We'll have all the details on your screen. But uh, Kim with the United Way of Cascade County coming in for Stuff the Bus. Hopefully uh, you can make it out to the event and help kids along the uh, or around the community.